Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I will be talking about magnesium, uh, one of the electrolytes and uh, one of the most misunderstood electrolytes, not in a sense of what people misunderstand, in a sense why magnesium is not magnesium that we all think about. And I will try to help people to debunk myth and uh, what magnesium to consume and when. Hopefully it will help you not only with exercise regime, but also with um, just normal regular life. Let's talk about um, electrolytes uh, first of all. And um, before I start talking about electrolytes, I would like to remind you that I'm not endorsing any supplements. Uh, I do believe most of the nutrition can be achieved with a proper uh, food intake or what people call dieting i wouldn't call diet i call it lifestyle and um, i don't recommend taking any supplements unless you really need to supplement and supplement that means you cannot get enough from your normal diet uh, one of the example would be why i would take electrolytes it's either uh, most um, demanding workouts where I sweat a lot or uh, my normal post-workout routine when I go to sauna and I sweat a lot in the sauna I try to sit there between 20 to 30 minutes um, uh, in more than 90 degrees Celsius uh, temperature which is uh, quite hard and uh, during that time I probably lose around two liters of um, liquid most of the liquid uh, would come out as an um, electrolyte because kidneys will uh, excrete sodium, potassium, magnesium first. Uh, but also if you are in a ketogenic diet or if you consume a lot of sugars or if you move in a lot, um, electrolyte it's most demanding component of your diet that you would need to support your muscle. Lack of electrolyte would result first in fatigue uh, second one, you may feel body twitching. It would be either a little bit of arm or under eye or cheek. It's not that you're stressed. It's that, that you are missing either potassium or magnesium in the body. There are two other electrolytes, which is sodium and calcium. And I won't touch them today because uh, we're consuming enough sodium in a diet. Although it's not probably most optimal sodium, but it's enough sodium in a diet, unless you um, exercise and sweating a lot. And calcium is a funny one. I don't recommend consume calcium as a supplement, but if you consume calcium, make sure that it does not stay in your blood. You need to draw it to bones, and I won't talk about this um, in this video. Um, probably subject for next time let's talk about electrolytes and by the way everything that i'll mention in this video i'll put links down below so you can check um, uh, where to buy and uh, if you buy in different place look i've got no any affiliation so you can buy wherever you want it's just a um, good explanation where to look for it and what it looks like and uh, compare with your current routine all right let's start I will start with, uh, again, uh, electrolyte is um, as together they're working as push and pull. You cannot have more of one and not enough of another. This is why the balance of electrolytes is so important. So main electrolytes will be calcium, sodium, potassium, magnesium. And it's really easy to get enough sodium and enough calcium if you eat well. Um, also, it's all right opportunity to get enough potassium. And if not, I'll just put link down below. There's nothing special about potassium. Potassium is potassium. I consume potassium in, in form of uh, hydrochloride. Um, it's cheap, it's available, and it's uniform. What is different about magnesium? So magnesium, it's not one thing that you can take and say, I'm taking magnesium. There are some forms of magnesium uh, useless. Uh, I, I won't go through all of them. One of them would be oxide. It's very bio unavailable form of magnesium. 
And if you buy, in, like in Australia, uh, major chemists would store, uh, would, would sell you magnesium. And if you look at the label, uh, main ingredient would be, doesn't matter how they package it. They can say magnesium for bones, magnesium for strength. But if you're looking at the main ingredient of the supplement, it will say mag magnesium oxide. Do not buy magnesium oxide. There's nothing wrong. It will be just expensive piece. You will piss it out. It will be no good any for you. Magnesium oxide, it's the cheapest form of magnesium and most bio unavailable. It means your body will take it and won't be able to absorb it. It's not what you want. You want your magnesium to be active, to be absorbable and to serve you for what you need to do. Let's start with what you need to do. Uh, first one, magnesium is good for muscle strength, but not every magnesium. Uh, the most beneficial magnesium for muscle strength and recovery as well. When I say recovery, it's like you're exercising hard and a few other gentle fatigue or muscle soreness. Or you need to support your muscles before you're going into exercise. And that uh, magnesium will be magnesium malate. Uh, again, everything that I speak about today, uh, you've got links down below. Check them out. Magnesium malate. Look, I'm not a doctor. Follow the labels uh, that on a bottle. But I personally take between um, 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams of magnesium malate in, in capsules that I take. It's around three capsules. And it supports me quite well through my exercise regime. So that's magnesium malate to support your muscles. Uh, that magnesium will activate muscles, that uh, magnesium will support muscles. The other magnesium um, that will help you to go to sleep, it creates opposite function in your body. It's a magnesium that can go through blood, uh, brain blood barrier. It's really hard to penetrate, not many substances can do this. Our brain is well protected. And uh, there are two types of magnesium do it well. One is uh, magnesium glycinate and also magnesium l3 and 8 i find my, uh, they work both um, kind of same with me but magnesium glycinate um, a little bit cheaper and um, works quite well so around an hour or half an hour before going to sleep uh, take a couple of uh, capsules of magnesium glycinate or l3 and 8 whatever your choice and you find out that it's much easier to fall asleep. It won't maintain your sleep. So for example, if you're waking up in the middle of the night and cannot fall back to sleep, I would resort to different techniques to go back to sleep, like uh, meditation, uh, maybe a bit of yoga nidra, you know, it's, it's up to you. But um, to fall asleep, magnesium glycinate or l 3 in it. again, I put links down below. And another magnesium that I would like to talk about is actually, while it's electrolyte, it does uh, still serve different purpose. So for example, you've got problem with your bowel movements and uh, you've got difficulty to do number two. So um, to help you with that, there's a magnesium citrate. And as you can see, magnesium is not magnesium. You need to take magnesium for function of your body. So if you're going to sleep, it's one type of magnesium, which is l uh, uh, l um, l three in it or uh, glycinate. If you need um, help with uh, your poop, is magnesium citrate. If you need help with uh, muscle soreness or muscle uh, function, it's magnesium malate. And if you would like just to waste your money, it would be magnesium oxide. There are other types of magnesiums. I don't want to go through all of them. I really um, thought to create this video to, to help people because when I was sitting in the sauna, someone was talking to me, they spent a lot of money in their local chemist buying magnesium oxide and they didn't feel any difference. And that conversation trigger, triggered this video that I created for you today. I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you'd like any more videos on this subject or subject of nutrition, exercise, or anything like that, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia.